We live in the age of social media and one of the biggest of them is Instagram. But I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with Instagram. So these are my top five reasons as to why I hate Instagram. I'll do this little list as a countdown from five to one of the things that I hate the most about Instagram. Number five on my list, the things that I hate about Instagram is the fact that they still can't post the images full size or full frame. Now, the standard default shape on Instagram is square, but you know, they've recently sort of introduced a, a feature where you can post your pictures full frame, apparently, but you still can't. Um, if you're a landscape photographer, yes, you can. It'll just be, you know, this big on your phone or whatever, and it's the nice landscape shape, or you got the regular square. But if you want to post a portrait, it still crops the top and the bottom of the images. Now, I find that quite annoying because sometimes I have my, you know, my signature or my logo or whatever at the bottom of the picture, and I want to include that. Uh, but if I do want to shift that up so you get the signature, then you chop the top of somebody's head off and things like that. So it'd be really good if Instagram itself would do the thing that other second sort of uh, third party uh, apps allow, which is for you to post your pictures actually full frame. So please sort that out, Instagram. And also tying in with that is the fact that it's still quite difficult to upload your images from a computer to Instagram. Now, I know Instagram is kind of like it's a mobile thing, you know, um, as you're on the go posting pictures and stuff. But obviously, as a photographer, uh, I want my portrait work to be put onto my Instagram account. So obviously, then I have to email uh, an image from my uh, laptop up to my phone and then I'll upload it from there. I, I know there's other ways you could do this plugins and uh, things, that, things like that that you can do to help you do it from a computer, but it's still not easy with an Instagram itself for you to be able to upload an image from your computer. So please, Instagram, please sort that out. Number four on my list is the reach of your images when you post them to Instagram. Now, Sometimes it can be dependent on the time of day that you post an image, uh, whether it gets a lot of um, views or likes and all that sort of stuff. Uh, another thing also that I find a bit annoying is the fact that you have to basically use a ton of hashtags. Some people still don't, you know, uh, believe that they don't think that you need to put a lot of hashtags. You will kind of get kind of uh, what you call it um, organic reach with your images. But I found just by posting a picture without any hashtags, just a little description as to what it is and stuff, and maybe geotagging it and stuff, um, it gets virtually nothing. Uh, perhaps just a few views or likes from my followers and things like that. But uh, if I want to reach a new audience, then I have to include all these hashtags. And there's things like ghost banning, where you think you've, you know, you've posted an image, you can see it on your own personal feed, but if your friends go to look for it, they can't find it. Or if you look in uh, the most recent uploads, it's just not there. So it's kind of like they're being a bit naughty because they, they think, they're making you think, oh yeah, great, I've uploaded a picture. Uh, but nobody's seen it, and maybe that's why, because you've been ghost banned for whatever reason. They might think you're spamming accounts, etc., etc. Number three on my list of things that I hate about Instagram is the fact that you have to post so much if you want to get uh, followers and likes and stuff. They kind of say that the magic number is like three times a day, morning, midday, evening, then that's where you will get more followers. But that's actually really sort of time consuming because, you know, we all live busy lives and stuff. And then sometimes you're thinking, well, what can I post about? Um, so it can either be if you're a photographer, you'll post your work or what I found is, you know, sometimes it's just to like post things about your photography related activity, say. Um, so you can kind of like, you know, do kit photos or, hey, I'm off here doing this or I'm editing this and that picture today. But, you know, I've got a feed that all I want to do is post my, uh, my actual work, not my behind the scenes stuff, because I want to kind of keep it tidy. Um, so having to post content that often, remembering to do it. I know there's other apps that help you to do it uh, on a regular basis, things like Hootsuite or whatever. Um, but just the fact that you have to post regularly if you want to see a decent uh, increase in work um, is a bit of an annoyance to me. Number two on my list about things that I hate about Instagram is the whole follow and unfollow thing. The numbers are just like meh, meh, up, down, up, down the whole time. Uh, and I just find that there's no kind of um, loyalty or very little loyalty to uh, some of the people that follow you on Instagram because they expect uh, you to follow them back. I don't know if that's um, necessarily a thing that everybody wants to do because the people that follow you, it may genuinely 
genuinely be that whatever they're posting isn't something you're really interested in. So, you know, you may not want to follow them. And my number one thing that I hate about Instagram is the amount of fake accounts and bots and spam accounts that exist on this platform. I get messages all the time, pretty much on every image that I post, I will get somebody saying, hey, come and check out my account or leaving random non-related comments that you can tell isn't related to the actual image that you've posted. They kind of give generic, oh, this is so inspiring, or keep up the great work kind of comments. And you can tell these are fake. Even the accounts, you know, with me as a fitness photographer, if I put some of my hashtags in that are fitness related, I guarantee you within no time I'll get comments from there's one particular feed that I really hate that messages me and I can tell they message a ton of other people as well because you look at the comments there that are left on those that particular thing. And the company is called Dreaming Elegance. Now they do uh, gym clothing, you know, vests and joggers and all that sort of stuff. And if you go on Instagram and you check, you type in Dreaming Elegance, there are hundreds of these accounts and they're constantly like, hey, I think you should check out my account, blah, 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 blah. And I just tell them, get lost because I don't even think they're real, you know. So the amount of fake accounts, these, these bots that it, I know Instagram had a purge of it a couple of years ago where they just closed down a ton of accounts, but I think it's high time to do it again. Too many spam accounts. So that's my number one thing that I hate about Instagram is these stupid spam accounts. Having said all this, these are just a few things that I hate about Instagram. It sounds like I'm having a bit of a bitch on my own. Um, and I am. There are things that I like about it, so I will continue to use Instagram because almost, like I said at the start, it's a love-hate relationship. It's kind of a necessary evil for my kind of photography. So yeah, those are just my brief thoughts on why I hate Instagram. And if you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Happy days.